why do I have this Old Testament uh, scriptures up here? And each one of these Old Testament scriptures is talking about how the Spirit of God did something, or the Spirit of God was with the prophet, or the Spirit of God, you know, was around the people in the Old Testament. Now, most people will think that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is this trinity, all making up one God, but three distinct persons. Now, there was a conversation between a Christian and a Muslim where the Muslim was saying that the comforter to which Jesus spoke about was the prophet Muhammad coming. But the Christian would say that the Holy Spirit that was this comforter that had to come, right? But I have a question for you Christians. Why is it that in John 16, Jesus is quoted as saying that he must leave in order for the helper, the Holy Spirit, to come what happened to the Holy Spirit being present in the lives of people prior to Jesus you see all these Old Testament pieces are saying that the Holy Spirit has always been there it's been with all these different prophets the Spirit of God has been with all these prophets the Spirit of God floated over the waters the Spirit of God was involved in the Old Testament writings and if the Spirit of God has always been with the prophets Why did Jesus say that he had to leave for the Holy Spirit to come? Now, some people may take this and say, well, what he really means is that in order for Jesus to leave for the Holy Spirit, in order for the Holy Spirit to come to the apostles themselves and so they can have their day of Pentecost would be that Jesus would have to leave. Given the idea that God, the Father, the Holy Spirit, or Jesus cannot all be on earth at the same time. That they all have to take their time. You see, Jesus had to pray to his father because God couldn't, the father aspect of this God couldn't be on earth because Jesus was on earth. The Holy Spirit couldn't be on earth because Jesus was on earth. And now that the Holy Spirit is supposedly coming now, the father can't be on earth. Jesus can't be on earth. Those aspects of them cannot be on earth. So that would mean that in Revelations, when your Jesus is supposed to make his triumphant return, that the Holy Spirit would then have to leave earth so that Jesus can be on earth. You see how that don't make sense? If all of these entities were one and the same, then and they were an all-powerful, all-knowing God, why are there stipulations as to who can be on earth at any given moment? And I know, I know some people are going to say, you're taking it out of context. You're making up your own um, doctrine. No, I'm telling you, this is based on what your Bible says. Before Jesus, the Holy Spirit was present. In times where Moses was actually talking to God face to face, he was talking to the Father. The Holy Spirit wasn't present, right? God sent a lying spirit to the prophets. God's spirit was with Saul, but then God's spirit left Saul, and God's spirit was with David. So the God, the Father wasn't with David, and Jesus wasn't around during all that time frame in the Old Testament. And it's not until you get Jesus on earth that you don't hear anything about this God being on earth doing anything. And then Jesus said in John 16, I gotta go, because I can't be, if I don't ever leave, the Holy Spirit can't come down and indwell up with within you that sounds very problematic that you have a God who can't do certain things like that but what do you guys think tell me in the comments always remember you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable good journey good vibrations